everybody, welcome to another edition of Rotter 2 Brief, every Saturday, Saltwater Aquarium Care. Today I got a pretty cool show, I think, well hopefully they're all cool, but I want to just say hey, everyone who's checking out the channel for the first time, I do my best to help you with your fish tanks and your saltwater aquarium. Um, I like to have silliness on the channel, and every Friday night at 10 p.m. Central, I have a live show where we take phone calls and... Um, the crew sends me instant messages and I answer them to the best of my ability. It's a lot of fun. We just kind of hang out. It's not all saltwater aquarium care, but most of it is. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to the show on my new bio pellet reactor. Those of you who've been following along with the channel know that um, my nitrates have been a little high nitrates check out my other videos on what they are and there's also plenty of videos out there on YouTube on getting rid of nitrates nitrates are bad you want to get rid of them um, your tank has a biological cycle it starts with food that the fish eat they crap it out they pee that's ammonia ammonia gets broken down into nitrites from bacteria the nitrites get broken into nitrates and then those nitrates need to be exported out of the tank. Ammonia is toxic to fish. We've said that many times. I keep repeating it for those who may have not seen the other videos and they see this one and then they'll know. I like to give a little backstory on each of my videos, kids. So, um, nitrates are bad for your coral. They need to be removed by doing weekly water changes. If you don't do water changes, what you can do is carbon dose. And carbon dosing is adding either sugar or vodka to your aquarium regular sugar and yes vodka that you drink um, that feeds the bacteria the bacteria then is bounced off of the bio pellets if you're using a bio pellet reactor they tumble as you can see here and those bacteria are exported out of the tube and that tube should be placed in your sump right next to the intake of your protein skimmer so they can be exported from your tank. A protein skimmer is an awesome tool, by the way. You've gotta have one if you're gonna be doing carbon dosing. Because if you don't, those bacteria will be thrown back into your aquarium where they will die, causing die off, and you're gonna have more problems than you started with. You don't want that. Scott with Mile High Reefers forced me into using a bio pellet reactor, and I said, I, I just don't wanna have any more hardware underneath my tank. I don't want anything else connected to electricity. And he's like, man, if you don't have a bio pellet reactor, you're not a real reefer. I'm like, dude, why do you have to be, you know, coming on so strong? I mean, what, you know, everyone's got their own way of doing things. He's like, well, I use it, so you should too. I said, okay, that's cool. I made my own bio pellet reactor, as you see here. It was working pretty good, although I didn't give it enough time. It needs at least four weeks for the pellets to kick in and the anaerobic bacteria to grow. I wound up selling this bio pellet reactor to someone who wanted it. Then I built a BRS reactor, which was working great. They say that you cannot use it for, you know, tanks larger than 75 gallons. I thought, well, screw that. I'm going to do it anyway. And it, it works great, although when I added more bio pellets, you can see that they don't churn, as pictured here. I thought, well, I will build another uh, reactor, but the place I get the clear PVC from, as with all the PVC I buy from, a 10 foot minimum order, so I don't need 10 feet, I only need two feet. Ta -da! So, <clears throat> Now, I was gonna get um, an Aquamax bio pellet reactor. I really wanted that. It was on back order for three weeks. I don't wanna wait. So, I didn't wanna spend more money, but I did. And I got the Reboctopus. The BRMF. What does the MF stand for? I don't think it comes with tubes, which kind of sucks for the amount of money you're spending on it. 
Basically, you're gonna fill the bio pellets in here. You're gonna connect your pump here. The pump is gonna be down in your sump. It's gonna pump water up, oops, other way, into this intake. It's gonna pump the water down, turning these bio pellets, which are gonna bounce off and then they're going to be exported out of, camera is in reverse, it's going to be exported out of this tube back into your sump, which is going to be around the area of your protein skimmer, so those um, dying bacteria can be taken up and exported out of your tank. I've spent far too much money on this hobby, and there's so many other people who have spent hundreds, thousands more, and I always say, just with guitars, oh, I'm done. And my cousin would always laugh, he was a drummer. He's like, you're not done. Sure enough, I'd buy more stuff. More amps, more guitars. More camera gear. I make money using equipment that I own. Stop, if you're having trouble with this. <laughs> oh God, I hate this crap. Well, it's packaged well, it's just this foam breaks apart everywhere. You got your adapters right I'll figure it out I'm smart like that hold still for the thumbnail I've got a pump it's gonna pump the water in through here from your sump it's gonna go down this tube spinning the bio pellets you cannot open this it's sealed really well The bottom is kind of scooped. You see how it's kind of... That's when the water will rush down and go up the sides, causing the churning motion. And the higher the water flow, the, the higher they're going to churn, the faster they're going to churn. Water's going to come out of here back into the sump. Really easy. And you're going to adjust the flow. And the top right here, you see this plastic... Um, looks like something from the Death Star type of shape thing, whatever. That's going to prevent the bio pellets from flowing up and out this tube. It's made very well. I really like this. I've never had a uh, Reef Octopus product before. A lot of people rave about Reef Octopus. I can see why. Don't spill them. So okay guys, I'll keep you posted on how this is going to work, um, probably about four weeks we should see it really help out. My nitrates are about 60 to 80, they've been getting out of control and I know that's high. I, I vacuum my sand bed, I do you know 10 to 15 percent water changes daily, um, I don't have any mechanical filtration to trap nitrates really, um, tangs are messy fish. Anyway, this is Steve. Have a great weekend. Video's a little longer than I expected, but I wanted to give you guys a full look at everything and just chat with you for a bit. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much. And check out our website as well, rodertube.com. And on Facebook. All these links are in the video description below. Have a great weekend. And have a great 4th of July weekend as well. Take care.